This is my number one assistant, Luma. Luma Luma. Luma. Continuing the bike project, day number 557.5. Uh, it's like 6 pm or 5 now. All I want to do today is take off these pistons, really. It's gonna get dark soon. Uh, yesterday, I took out, took out these valves and these, because that is not long enough to reach the inner valves. Uh, I'm still stuck in that domain. I'll have to buy another valve socket, or... I can't really modify that, because it's not mine. Gloves on. I will take these rings off and label them, clean them and label them first, second, third, fourth, fifth there's five rings on this piston and it's got a safety circle pin here in here next to the shaft next to the shaft there's a circle clip you have to kinda Take that inward and remove it. So I'm gonna put the camera closer. Cylinder shaft. Inside oh inside circle clip. If you take in if you put a screwdriver in and press it inwards and then pull it out, it should come out. Now, if you can't do that, hopefully, this can spin. Yeah, it's got like a an end. Spin the end to the whole thing here. And then, see it? Oh, see it coming out? Don't do that, because you might lose them. But, here it is. And now this cylinder shaft should push outwards like so no nope, the other way around inwards okay I figured it out I took the other clip off also which I shouldn't have had but you can use a T55 torque and just push it out if it doesn't come out. Careful not to scratch the this thing. It just needed a bit of convincing. There it is, it's out. Now in this manual it says the first ring is like that and the second ring is like that. Maybe that angle a bit is super tiny because I can't see it on this. It seems straight as straight as it can be. Regardless, I'm labeling them like that. So this is the top ring here. And then the second and I'll have to write up on it also, so I know the orientation of it. Something like that. So cylinder one, that's the upside. Alright, time for ring number two. It does get stuck in the last point here. I don't think that's ideal. And also they come out like this. Bend, so I don't think that's the the right way to do it really. You can kind of bend them into shape again but I think there's got to be a better way. With these ones here there's three. One, spacer, another one. Take the tiny screwdriver and go, don't go like that, go like this, you know like on the length of it. Find one, 
and gently push it out and work its way out like that. It might want to go into the other holes, but um, I'm learning here also, so I don't know. Yeah, if you take the screwdriver and shove it in like that, it kind of takes it out. Yep, and then you end up with it in the first in the first uh, space. Here we go. That's it. That's one. That's the top of it. The shiny surface. And the black surface is the bottom of it. It's not gonna come across it's not gonna come across on the camera, but this spacer ring it's like a T-shape inside, and that T-shape is held by these other two rings, so the top one and this one. So I need to remove this one first, and then the spacer ring. My other assistant came. What's doing here, Peter? It's got, so this, fl this is flush with that, and that, and this space here. I think this space is because the last ring you need to take it down first then remove this and then go up because otherwise you I think you'll damage this spacer ring you don't want that nobody wants that nobody wants damage looking at this this piston it's got some signs of friction here but nothing life changing man this engine was new it was a new engine. On second thought, I'm just gonna... Uh, yeah, it's easy to take it on top of this one. So I just did that. Yeah, it actually damages this... the spacer, man. So... Back to the original plan. Take it out like that. go and now the spacer you'll see the spacer is joining somewhere because it's no space where it's joining there you go remove this this is so easy to remove yeah. that's the spacer it's not gonna come across in the GoPro but see space T and the other side of the T. Yama. And now I'll proceed with removing this one. It's out. All of them out. And here the black part is the top because obviously it's underneath this. Probably goes black from the oil. Here's all the rings marked. It's good to be organized because then you know how to put stuff back. This is the Chernobyl. Hey, I'll use this as a. I'll use this as my ass. As a reminder <laughs> that I'm a fucking dumbass. That this could have been avoided. I can use this as a glass, but it's useless as a glass. Maybe for opening a beer. Doesn't seem to do that very well also. Well, let's try it. Hey, hey. Yeah, it's not good for opening beers also. And the dog, and the cat. And the dog and the cat. I think as soon as you take this ring out, it'll be cool to just use a nose player to grab it. Yeah, that's better. 
This is piston number one again, T55 torque, and push this pin, yeah man, from the other side. Okay, there it is. Take it out and take it out. That's the arrow that they were talking about. That arrow there. Ah, actually, the exhaust valve is the smallest one. The intake is the big one. See, the arrow points to the exhaust. My friend Medusa is here. On piston number one, there's some scratching here. Not on the other side though. Well, very little on the other side. Alright, because this is a good uh, piston, I don't want to wreck it. So, I found another method. So you pry this out, put it on top. Like here. And then take this small screwdriver, stick it in here. And work your way, ooh, work your way around the piston without scratching anything uh... quick note the second ring seems to be thicker than the first one it might not come across on this camera but it is again this engine was new man it's got minimum carbon deposits I'm gonna use again wire wool to clean it off start it here Check this out. Cleans it straight away. Same piston. Wire wool makes miracles. Good piston, Chernobyl. Good piston, Chernobyl. The diameter of this piston is 44.6 millimeters. That's the diameter where the shaft is. The diameter where the rings are is 43.6 millimeters. And the total height of it is somewhere around 49.77 millimeters. The shaft, yeah, I can measure the shaft of it. The shaft diameter is exactly 12 millimeters, and the length of it is 34.01. This is piston number two. Same, some kind of scratching here. No scratching on the other side. Now, the intake seems to have a bit of scratching. This one has a bit more carbon deposit on it than cylinder number one. Uh, sorry, this is cylinder number three, actually. Number three. Guess what arrived today? Something from Japan Post. If this was a simple engine rebuild, this would have been a happy day. Careful. A hundred pounds worth of gaskets in here. Dun, 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 dun. Thank you, Mr. Uh, Mitsu Ibashi. Yeah, man. Everything seems to be in here. Yeah, even all the rubber. I hold the O-rings for the sweep for the intake manifold. No way! The valve... The valve uh, rings. The oil seals. Sweet! Hmm, fairly insane. GSX 250 EW. I'll try and find the parts for this motorcycle. Hmm. Because I was searching for mine, GS250FW. 
And since my bike is so rare, maybe I'll find valves and things that I need here. Thank you, Mitsu. Oh, that's kind of a little cat with a smaller cat. Day 551. Uh, I don't know. I think it's day 4. It's a lovely day outside. It's quite nice. It's super sunny. Back to my office. <coughs> the last cylinder I need to remove. And then maybe take the engine off. It should be way lighter. Take this off. Take loads of things off. To push the shaft, you can use either a T55 torque or a 10mm Allen key. Since this thing is too short, it's got an idea. I'll use a socket. Maybe that's gonna work. Success. See how it is. See, that pushes the socket, the socket pushes the valve. And the result is, I'll hold this in my neck. Yeah, they came up. It is a bit of a pain until you hold the socket and this here, but it works, so that's good enough for me. The intake valve moves okay. It's the exhaust one that gets stuck. That's what caused the problem. That's the intake valve. A little bit of sap here, but nothing major. Drill, wire, clean it. Cylinder number two. Exhaust valve. See? Loads of sap here. Cylinder number two, because this is the wrecked one. That's one, two, three, four. I'll remove this oil, these oil, oil pipe bolts here and put them with Lego cylinder number 3 and this one goes to number 2 cylinder number 2, intake valve, not bad and now, last but not least but we'll enjoy the music in the the exhaust valve now next, this screw, which I'm guessing is a cap for here, this one, and this one, and this on the other side, now there's only this, so one, two, three, four, take it out, and I think that's it for this head, then I can wash it, pressure wash it or something. 10 mil socket. This is how you listen. That's how it looks. It doesn't fit on the other side. I'm guessing this is a washer. Yep. So it's tighter than the other one. This came out with the washer. Oh, tight. Tight also. Same size, same size. I'll try and remove this pin, I don't like it here. And then... Oh. Strip what's left of this head gasket. And then start with this guy. With head gasket. And what's left of the bottom gasket. Now from the piston, I'll remove this. This is the water intake, and this giant uh, plug there, butt plug, and this whatever this is, thermostat. Two screws, same size, this thing with an O-ring. Important thing about this is, it, this is not symmetrical. It stores here, so when you put it back, don't put it back the wrong way around. 17 mil spanner for this sensor thingy. Go. 
Yeah, it looks like a thermal probe. This is that plug that I've uh, entitled FE from front of it. We go in the same bag as the water hose thingy and this big bad boy. 10 mil Allen key. Ah, it came off. Okay. Oh my god, I caught my OK finger. If I can't say OK anymore, coronavirus, we're gonna die, all of us. This seems to have some kind of red thread locker. So cool, it's got like some aluminum fascinating collaborations inside it. In the 80s, talking heads, they've been burned, opening up, and we have light blue.